Hey everybody, welcome to another Teen 5 Book Talk. This time I have brand new books at the library that I can't wait to read. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and why I'm excited about them. So this one is called The Key to You and Me. This is by Jane Robin Brown. So this is a horror story, which I was totally sold on just there. But it's also a female-female romance, which I'm sold again. So I don't know that much more about it. But that's all I needed to know to get the to get the book put on my to read list, which is extensive. Let's be honest. Um, this one is perfectly parvin, and there's um, so parvin is fourteen. She's just been dumped, and she's sort of trying to live her, her life by some rules. So there are rules for successful ladies, and rules how to be less loud and. She's thinking that maybe if she follows the rules, her heart will be healed and she will be able to move on. And, of course, that's never as easy as it sounds. Meet, meet Cute Diary. This is by Emery Lee. Um, so, a meet cute is, if you don't know, it's when two people meet and it's usually in like a rom-com and it's usually really funny and awkward and... It's a good story to tell people. Oh, how'd you meet? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this just totally had me at the, the cover and the title, I'm not going to lie. But um, the tagline's really funny. Noah Ramirez thinks he's a room, an expert on romance. And that's probably going to go terribly wrong, and I'm here for it. All right. Um, Where the Rhythm Takes You by Sarah Das. So this one is an Austin retelling, and I think it's Persuasion, yes. Persuasion is one of my favorite Austin ones. It's kind of like a second chance story, um, and I am all over Austin retelling, so I'm excited about this one. It is about a girl who's 17. Raina has been spending most of her time, most of her life at her family's gorgeous seaside resort. But once, what once was awesome has now kind of crumpled, and she is not really happy there anymore. Um, it's been two years since her mom died, two years since her, her childhood best friend, who was her first love, um, left the island, and all of her friends are planning to leave the island too, and she's kind of starting to feel left behind. So it's sort of, what is she going to do with her life, and how is she going to make her dreams come true? So... That's really exciting for me. And then this one is called Off the Record. This one is by Cameron Garrett. It's a story too explosive to keep quiet. This, so I was totally just sold on that as well. Um, this is about a journalist who, um, she's writing about the Me Too movement. And honestly, that was all I needed to know about this book too. Um, so she's 17, writing has always been her thing. She enters a contest to write a celebrity profile for a big magazine. And she gets the, the prize and it might or may not be exactly what she's thinking. And she might learn some not great truths, which then maybe she thinks she should share with people. Um, so, those are five books I'm really excited that we have in our collection, and I'm going to take some of them home and read them immediately, because I'm so happy we have them. Right. We will see you next week for more book talking.